Closer. Just take a look. I don't know what's going on, but I hear a loud commotion. I don't know what's going on, but parents are running. Chris, if you follow me, we're trying to figure out what's happening right now. It's a lot of screaming going on. Oh, pa okay. Students are running out right now. So, oh, students are running out. Hold on. It's a loud commotion. Students are just running out of the classroom. Parents are trying to find their kids. It's really hectic right now. A lot of parents are trying to figure out what's happening. Students are just want, running out. They're arm by arm. A lot of commotion right now. I'm not sure how they got out, but the door at the front of the school is open right now. Hey, can you tell me what just happened? How did y'all get out? Um, they, they opened the door. We busted and let us out. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. We, busted, we busted through the cops' office. They tried to. Why did you guys choose to do that? Because a kid was shot. It's a crazy. Shot. They let us try to go to school. No, we ain't going to no school. Okay. As you can see, a lot of frustrated kids. They say they're saying that they just they busted out of the door. It's really hectic right now. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio. A lot is going on. Let's get to Mark Boyle for a different uh, perspective from this. Mark, what are you, what are you seeing? Ma'am, did you find your daughter? She's right here. Tell me, you're, this, you're, the, you're, you're, I work for CMS. you're the mother of this daughter. Tell me what happened inside. Um, well, they wouldn't let us leave building because they said it, everything was still on lockdown, but everybody was trying to go and they wouldn't let us leave. What eventually happened just here just a second ago? What well, happened? everybody was pushing. The parents were coming. Dad, I'm right here. The parents were pushing, trying to get everybody's kids they wouldn't let us leave at all ma'am you barged into the school like every other parent i didn't barge into the school i just put my badge up on the door i said i work for cms i want my child out of there what she, are you they were telling everyone to wait across the street no they was blocking the kids all the kids in the hallway right there are you happy that you finally I'm shaking yeah thank you the so boy much is dead my daughter's seeing this stuff this is crazy let these kids out certainly very, thank you very much, ma'am. Certainly a very, uh, go ahead, We're, a very scary situation, a very a bit of relief here this morning. You're, what you're looking at is students coming out, embracing their moms and their dads. These parents have been waiting for more than 30 minutes for answers. There was clear confusion this morning between the police department and the district on how to release these students. Ma'am, ma'am, have you found your child yet? No, I'm going, she should be at the flag Meet me right now. Okay, gotcha. So uh, the, there, there, there's, there was no communication with how to release these students, and it appears as if they're in this building here to our left. That's where all the students were being kept. And then these students are telling us they broke through the doors and they just forced their way out of the building. And then outside, once they came out, were hundreds of parents waiting for their children. Of course, all of these parents getting news of this shooting this morning by electronic message or voicemails from the school district. But again, very hard to get any information uh, in terms of how to get the students out. Uh, these students uh, were in the school on lockdown and the parents were told to go to Elevation Church. Uh, they were waiting for a word on how to get their kids and eventually it just turns out where these kids just left their own. Ma'am, are you looking for your child? I am. What is, were you out, out here at Elevation? What happened this morning? No, I just got a text from one of my sons telling us what happened and uh, came up here because my son called me and asked me to come pick him up. So now I'm just trying to figure out, I guess I need to sign him out. I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do to get him. So. Thank you so much. Yeah, there's uh, that. That's the feeling. I see. I'm gonna see if we can talk to some more folks. This looks like this mom here just got her daughter certainly relieved. Son, rather get relieved, ma'am. You were you able to get your, your yeah, right son. Here. What, what, tell me, what were you thinking this morning? Um, I don't want to talk about okay. it. Clearly, uh, a very very shaken situation. We want to respect the parents that don't want to talk, but this is a, a big, big relief to know that the suspect is in custody and the, the victim in this case, Ben and Carolyn, uh, was rushed to the hospital. That is what we can confirm this morning. All right, Mark, thanks. Let's go to uh, Ruby Durham. She's live outside the school as well. Ruby, you've been speaking to parents as well. Yes, I have been. I'm actually standing next to one right now. Sir, you tell me your child is still inside. Yes, she is. And as you can see, a lot of kids are now coming out what about your child are you nervous you know what is she telling you uh, she's okay she's in the theater um, their block is still on lockdown um, and she's just waiting to be released they're counting the kids you seem very patient I know a lot of parents are worried they're crying what is keeping you sane right now because panic isn't gonna help me right now so I, I want my kid and I want her to be safe but panicking isn't going to make that happen any faster so are you telling her to stay inside even though you see a lot of students running out right now she just is because she's a, a smart kid so she's okay. yeah i mean 
again, panicking isn't going to help anything. So as much as we want to be together, you know, it'll happen when that happens and she's okay right now. And I know that, so that's good. Okay. What are your thoughts just knowing that, you, that people were first at Elevation Church and now they're here, a lot of mixed messages going on? It's a lot of people and a lot of chaos. That's what total inaction looks like. So, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Ben and Caroline, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Hey, we, thanks, Ruby. We want to get back to Mark Boyle. So, uh, Mark, we are seeing students being uh, released or rather really just pushing through, we're being told, to get outside to their parents.